Today we're going to talk about their brand new shotgun, the A300 Ultima Competition. I say competition, but it's also a tactical shotgun. The videos we are making will be the first ones in existence. I'm going to tell you a little story of, of, of why I like this shotgun. Um, I would uh, competition breeds success in my mind, and that's always been my philosophy throughout the military and in life, whether it's no matter what the task is or competition, whether it's physical fitness in the dojo or on the flat range, um, I'm, I'm always willing to compete. And I try to do at least one or two a year. Now with my, with my schedule involving training and industry, um, I'm fixing to do one in two weeks. But when I first started in the sport of three gun, you needed a shotgun. And I'll tell you some deficiencies that are in the shotguns and why this A300 competition right out of the box can go right to your first competition. One was at the time I was competing, we were running red dots on our pistols. Well, it only correlates to every optic system. Pistols and rifles had red dots and then you go into it and I'll, I'll give you this, um, three gun has done a lot to um, change up the division so you can now compete with a red dot on your shotgun and a pistol because primarily that's it's due to use um, but that was a big disadvantage for us because we're used to running red dots now on this the a300 ultima competition it's already got the cutout for any trijicon optic built into it um, that's why it's already right there it's beveled in there's doesn't need to be taken to the machine shop also on the bottom my feeding port is beveled out and that's the first thing you did when I, when I bought shotguns was get them beveled out and you'd have to send it away for four months and the guy would come back or I knew a lot of guys who did it themselves and their shotgun didn't end up working. And you gotta replace the serial number and that's probably not a good thing when you do that. Three, my extended magazine tube. That is big money, 10 plus one with two and three quarters, nine plus one with three inch in this shotgun. Fourth, Grip textured right here. Your hands are sweaty. Man, that texture's already built in. I would buy skateboard tape or take a little soldering tool and do all my four ends in back here. Now you don't have to do this. So it's already got four key features built into it that every three gun competitor does with a shotgun. Now on the tactical side, the 10 plus one for two and three quarters and nine plus one for three is a great advantage as well because Man, running around the military, we had breaching shotguns, we had semi-automatic shotguns for, for other uses, and the, the loaded ammunition and how much you could carry was a huge deal because we have pistol magazines, we have AR magazines, we have charges, we have tools. Oh, and then by the way, man, we're only running plus three and plus five in our shotgun. Running around with plus 10 is a huge advantage for this thing to be in your vehicle. Some of the key features on this Extended bolt release, oversized bolt for easy movement. Again, copy the textures right here, front and back. Also, it being a competition and tactical shotgun, the foreign right here has M-lock slots. And right here, my barrel clamp has the ability to have a QD mount for a sling. All in all, I take this shotgun to compete. I'm going to do that within the next two weeks, or I put it in back in my patrol cruiser if I was a police officer, or if I was a tactical military, I'd also have this as well. Check out the new A300 Ultima competition at BrettaUSA.com. Go grab one and we'll see you on the range. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Beretta, Hornady, Taco, Tika, Skinner Sykes, Car Arms, Thompson Auto Ordnance, Magnum Research, Night Vision, American Technologies Network, High Point Firearms, Yankee Hill, Walther, and biggest, finest revolver. We would like to dedicate today's show to the men and women of the United States military and law enforcement. The people that stand in the gap and keep our country free. God bless America.